Okay, here we're going to do the name Brittany. Now, for starters, we've already discussed this before. This is what a B will look like normally when in the middle of a word, but at the very beginning of a word is reduced to the simple hook without hanging off of a word line. For aesthetic purposes and to save strokes, of course. So, Brittany. The first thing that's difficult in this, actually the only thing difficult about this name is the double T again. Connecting it with the I, not so hard. The hard part is connecting the T to the A. A single T to an A is difficult, the double T is, well actually, just as difficult, not any more or less. So, let's just look at how to connect an a, a T to an A. So you'll have a T, it will be, most often it is hanging off of a word line, or off of a vowel. We've got a double T, now double, we know the double T's are simply like that, so what are we coming off? We're coming off of an I. If we came straight down off of an I, which is the most common way to, you're left with an awkward situation. Your A, you could drop this one lower and connect it like so for your A. You could try to come straight across and hook back like that, but then it starts to lose the actual shape of the A. So what do you do? Well, you can close it. You can close a T off like that. A T can actually, be, or square, any square shape is actually a T if you want to think about it. Any T could be closed off on either end. So, that's one way. The other way to deal with the problem is the way I actually more often deal with it, which is the much simpler solution. It's to take the T's out of the equation, especially when you have an I, is this easy. You hang it off the side. So there's my two T's. This is I this is T any which way, I hang the T off there, that makes it a double T. So I put my two T's out of the equation and I go straight to the A out of the bottom of the T. Now we've discussed this before, How do you, when you reach this I, how would you decide which one to read first? Well, my simple rule is I always read shortest side chains first, shortest to longest. So as this one, A and Y is three and this one is only two, you would first read the TT and then follow into the A and Y all the way to the end. Some people have suggested reading longest to shortest, which just simply produces a whole new style and a whole new look to the descript. Uh, perfectly, a, a perfectly a good option. You could also read it bottom to top or right to left or whatever. Current descript standard rules are top, bottom, left, right, outside to inside, shortest to longest. So let's look at Brittany. Let's do the first, let's look at the simple version. There's the B, there's the R. Now this looks a little tricky. Technically, it should look more like this, but I like to draw my BRs like this. So, we're looking at B, R, I, simple solution, Brittany. Now, this version, of course, you could also hang the A off there. It's easier to do it off of here, too, in a way, because you're going horizontally. So, you could try taking the, uh, the T's to an angle like that, coming back down for your A to fill a lot of space, but that tends to start to become awkward. So let's try to draw this name in a few somewhat aesthetically pleasing versions quickly, if that's possible. Brit. Okay, so here we're looking at the simple version. Looks kind of nice, it's got a whirly effect at the bottom, kind of lightning on the top. Not sure what we could do with that. So the first, we'll, we'll stick with simple goals. Let's try to turn this into a box. So, we've got the top part of the box covered off. This can come down. If we can squeeze this short and bring the A more horizontally out, this can come in and fill it, and we've got a box. I'll show you what I mean. B, R, I, A, N, Y. And let's not forget our double T, which I kind of forgot it for the moment there. Now you can see how I'm, what I'm thinking. It's possible to squeeze this into a box. I went far too wide, but it looks kind of nice. We could also try to do it in a straight line. So a very kind of long, stretched, vertical version. Oops, my bad. Hey, this is not going to look very nice. I'm not sure if that all made it on the screen, but it's not very good looking anyways. Anyways, this one can, can be played with a lot. There's a lot of other options, but they're pretty straightforward how to connect them here. Obviously, we don't have to... I keep using this version of the AN in all of my drawings. Now, you can also use this version where you extend the line. 
costs an extra stroke. You, you can see why I always use it. First of all, it looks better. Second of all, it saves time and energy and space.